<clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming out tonight. My name is Larry Almabaum. I have been privileged to serve you as a member of the Board of Education for the past eight years, uh, in which time my daughter has grown from uh, infant status to a fifth grader. I am proud of what we've accomplished in the school district over the last several years, especially with really incredible financial constraints. When people talk about fiscal responsibility, the school district really has shown the way improved academics, even in light of the fact that we are spending $28 million less than we did five years ago. That really shows leadership at all levels of the district. I'm really proud of what we've accomplished. I look forward to working with this community again for another four years to try and implement some of the things that I would like to see happen, including more technology in the classroom, foreign language learning in the elementary schools, and respectfully using the money that you give us in, by passing Measure S to do all the good infrastructure improvements we need to make this, the schools good for years to come. Thank you very much. Agahanian. Agahanian. Thank you. Here we go. Good evening, dear realtors and friends. My name is Armando Vaconian. First of all, I want to wish all of you a happy new year and a very successful year. May you sell a lot of homes in 2013. My name is Armando Vaconian. I'm a local parent, a homeowner, and a professor at Woodbury University, where I've been teaching for the five years. I'm actually um, very proud to just announce that I, I was one of the candidates who also received the uh, endorsement of the Teachers Association. Um, to me, um, keeping our businesses going strong in this area is very important. And people forget that there is a direct link between the quality of the education and the property values. So in order for us to keep the values in Burbank high, we want to make sure that Burbank stays at its highest quality in terms of education. I have a plan, it's called the Sustain Plan. You can pick up my card and read about it. But uh, also I have my business cards there. <laughs> I have a 14 month baby. <laughs> I also have my business cards there with my uh, cell phone on it. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me. I'm a, local, I'm a past chamber president of the Armenian American Chamber of Commerce. I'm one of the founders of the Armenian Realtor Association in Glendale. So uh, it's, I'm happy to be here. A lot of friends who are realtors and a lot of family members. So I want to thank you for all the hard work you do and maybe have a very successful 2013. Thank you. <laughs> Great, and uh, Steve Ferguson. Thank you so much to the Board of Realtors uh, for hosting this event today, this great opportunity to meet all of you. My name is Steve Ferguson. I am a proud candidate, an excited candidate for the Board of Education here in this wonderful community. We have a wonderful community, and I'm running for the Board of Education because I believe the federal level and the state level of government have failed us and have continued to saddle us with obligations that we can't afford and that we can't always man manage. But we do our best. Why? Because we in this community believe in our schools. And I'm running, more importantly than anything else, to preserve this community's expectations, what I call the Burbank Standard. I'm running to preserve the Burbank standard in our schools. I was born and raised in this community. I attended Burbank schools, and I know these schools like, like no other. And I care about these students, and I know that we are going to do everything we can throughout the uncertainty to deliver the very best, and that is the exact passion and commitment that I will bring to the Board of Education with your help and during this election. I'm proud to have the support of Congressman Brad Sherman, the Burbank Teachers Association, school board member Dr. Roberta Reynolds, Councilmember Dr. David Gordon, and former mayors Mary Lou Howard and Marsha Ramos, and I'd certainly love to add your name to that list. So thank you, God bless you, and I hope for your vote. And next is uh, Charlene Tabit. Tabit is correct. Burbank High, and my three children have gone to 
for many schools from kindergarten all the way up. So I have one that's still senior, so almost all the way through. I understand as a homeowner, as a property owner, that my property has a better value, raises in value when the schools in our community are good. And with my extensive background in education, I'm a former middle school teacher for 12 years, mother, PTA president at the elementary school, middle school, and high school. I really look forward to utilizing those skills that I've learned in the past to continue to have for making White School District be an outstanding school district. And I appreciate your support. And, and uh, next is uh, David Dobson. Good evening. Uh, I'm Charlene, so uh, I'd like another woman on the board as well. But I'm a parent. I have two children in, in uh, schools here in the district, a third grader and an eighth grader. I've been involved there for the schools for nine years. I have been very involved as a PTA parent, a PTA president currently. I've also served on the trip, I've been the treasurer of Booster Club and my son's middle school. I've served on the school site council. I'm currently on the calendar committee and I've been asked to serve on the, uh, on the elementary school booster board as soon as they figure out how to fix the violence. Um, I think that this is a time with, with the economy the way it is, we really need people on the board who will experience the cuts and changes that have to be made. Um, we felt them at our school pretty severely over the years, so I think that that's the perspective that we need to have, and so we'll have your support. Thank you. 